So what up y'all, we're here at uh, Wheel Park again today. Do a little uh, background action. We got Matt doing the, uh, the drone FPV with his daughter. Riding co-pilot, watching the action. I just wanted to uh, do a little pre-bash video. It's a Thursday, the weather's about 80. It's a little windy, so the wind noise uh, is kind of annoying, I'm sorry. But uh, not too many warm days left here in Colorado. So we're gonna make the best of it. Uh, let's see if we can do a little background skate park there. But I just kind of want to show this place as much as I can, just because uh, it's just so awesome. I mean, that's what you can kind of see there. And uh, just wanted to say thanks to all my subscribers. Uh, say hi to everybody. Um, it's, you know, channel's been growing and I'm not really doing all that much, but showing the bashing and uh, this this wonderful track and spot that we got. Hopefully it's not getting too old. We try and mix it up and do new stuff. Um, but, you know, we're here quite a bit. The crew's growing. We're meeting new people, getting more people every day, every week. And as the weather comes, I would imagine we'll still be out here quite a bit. You know, repping the Arma shirt for sure. Uh, we're gonna be, I got my Outcast and my Creighton today. We're waiting on a few more people, so hopefully we'll get a good outing. But um, really just wanted to do a little pre-video talk and say thank you to everybody. I really appreciate all the support, all the people that I've met. It's just been such a great ride since February, really April since I started making videos. And I just want to say thank you. I'm having a blast. It's really changed my life. And uh, so, yeah, um, peace out to y'all and we'll see you soon here. drones flying but uh here you go here's the track the dream track that um everybody just loves to see uh we're very very fortunate to have this place at our disposal uh, you do definitely get some uh bmxers here but not too many it's more of a family environment now it's not a sanctioned track anymore but uh it is just epic hopefully you guys can kind of see the setting there with the sun is just magnificent so I'm gonna try and get some video of all the equipment that we got out. So Matt's got a few different drones here. He's got his Reborn Outcast with the 56 Chevy Proline body on there. He's got that reinforced with a really cool uh, tape setup, the drywall tape or whatever. It's pretty awesome. I found some new stuff at uh, so, Lowe's actually. They yeah, what was the name of that stuff again? Lexel. Lexel and it's Lexel. Uh, like a cock tube. It comes in a cock tube. It's and it's bucks. cheaper than it's E6000 cheaper. and Shugu. So yeah, and it's so, so you guys can kind of see. It's really, really strong. And you said you put some ceramic plate on, on the top of the body uh, there? It's actually a piece of uh, Pergo wood flooring. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> put in that. So yeah, this is, you know, what happens when you get creative. But just so you can kind of see like the equipment that he uses here. We got the, uh, what is that? The Spectrum, whatever remote. That's uh, actually an FR Sky Tyrannus QX7. Nice. And then we got a couple drones there. This is what he runs with. He's got the awesome all, backpack. All this guy's got team. all the gear. And uh, what was this again? The team associated? Yeah, that's a Pro SC 4x4. Without a body, but yeah. he bashes anyway. Yeah, it does. You know? So... You know, just gonna kind of get some looks here. We're waiting on some people. We'll be bashing soon. Here we get just to kind of, it's hard to see these drones, but yeah. You'd see better in your goggles, but he's going in. So let's see, do a little zoom action there. He's going through the atrium there and then above. Yeah, you can kind of see it looks like a little flying saucer at this point. It's a UFO. So yeah, Matt's still uh, getting into uh, the droning, but he's doing pretty good. Oh, there it is. Man, that thing, you can lose track of it pretty fast. You got the goggles on? Oh, right on. Yeah, so Bonnie's got the goggles on, so she gets to see what he sees. And uh, this is something that I definitely want to get into as well. Okay, have a sheep on your goggles. Yeah, all right. The weather is just outstanding right now. It's still kind of warm. It'll start to cool down here, but we're probably gonna be here for at least a couple hours. So, uh, cool. All right, so under the hood, Kyle's 
uh, stock granite and the mega granite with all his new stuff in it. Kyle's mega granite. What have you done to it since the last video I did? It's got a... So it still has the Hobby Wing uh, Max 10 ESC, but I went up to a 3674 2150 KV motor geared on a 20 to 57 gearing. Um, so I mean, it's it's ready. Right on. And we're only running on 2S today, not 4S. <laughs> Got plenty of power. We're gonna see how she handles in the dirt. We going out there? Using my phone. So we got Matt's outcast. We got Kyle's wife's granite and his mega granite. Sunset. Wow, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I got you. So we're trying to take advantage of uh, the last warm days we got. It's in the high 70s right now. No wind at the moment. Beautiful sunset occurring. Are you running 6S? So we got Matt's outcast on 4S. Oof. Dude, I love those tires. Oh! Always carnage around these guys. Yeah. Look at that beautiful sunset, y'all. Trying to get the car in the sunset in the same view. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Love those tires. They're not even ballooning that much. It's awesome. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what they're made for. It's all the killer stunts. Hell yeah, dude. And Sky painted that body? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, What, is that the stock motor? Yep. It's all stock electronics. It's, it sounds really, really quiet. Really? Yeah. Interesting. It doesn't sound like the normal BLX system I'm used to hearing. Yeah, this is actually the motor that had come apart that Jacob damn near destroyed. It was only holding on by two screws. That one day? Yeah. When he sold it to you? Yeah. That's funny. That traction control keeps it so straight. It's really cool. A great car, dude.
Colorado sunset for you there, y'all. Wow. Do a little panorama here of where we're at. It's a good shot of the granite sitting on top of the little mound right there. We got Bonnie on the team associated with no body over here, having fun. All right, we'll be back. So I got my outcast back running. I got a brand new set of back flips on her. Got my outcast back running. Gonna try and just give her a quick run here. So far she seems, feels pretty good. Running 4S, 18 tooth pinion. Put the back flips uh, new set of back flips. Oh my God. That sounded and looked horrible. Took it, T-bone, T-bone baby. That's what it looked like to me. Ooh, I got lucky there. I need lots of practice, y'all. Gotta stop filming and uh, get to some driving. Oh. Get back on me. There we go, baby. Let's go. That's for you, Dante. Let's go. Oh. That was harsh. Yeah, baby. Outcast is going strong. Yeah. Hopefully my GoPro's working good. Yeah, baby. Oh, that was tough. Did I lose a body pin? Oh, I lost both body pins. Oh, yeah. Oh, already busted a body post. Uh, see if you guys can see that. Um. So I lost a couple body pins and the body post came undone there. And it's never tight on these. All right, so I guess a little fixing and uh, we'll try and get back. See if you guys can see that or not. Otherwise, this one's even loose. These front ones don't really seem to last very long. Even these back ones are loose, oh my goodness. We gotta fix that, y'all. All right, we'll be back soon. <laughs> 